we invite representatives from the state's women's cancer screening program which is operated out of the Department of Health and probably of all the people and organizations we work with they are our biggest partner. Well back in 1990 Congress passed the Breast and Cervical Cancer Mortality Mortality Prevention Act and what that did was that authorized CDC to, was to create a breast and cervical cancer screening program nationally for women that are uninsured low-income um, minority women and what happened was is that program started probably a few years later. We all had like funding capacity to start up. And then Women's Cancer Screening in Rhode Island, and that's what the name is in Rhode Island. Every state has a different name. There are 50 states in the program, plus the District of Columbia, five territories, and 11 tribal programs. So in Rhode Island, it's the Women's Cancer Screening Program, and it's housed at the Department of Health. And we have an information line there um, for all women that want to call and ask questions about the program and referrals. To date, and that's been since 1997, we've enrolled over 34,000 women in Rhode Island uh, into the Women's Cancer Screening Program. But women come through, probably five to 6,000 women a year come through the services in the program. Well, I think it's such an attention getter when you look at the Hope Bus into the community, into these different areas where they would never probably see something like that come in and park, bright pink, and just, you know, a welcome door, a welcome sign that says come in. Um, I think when people from the community, and you know, they see this, it's, it's just that thing that says to them, you know, it's a piece of curiosity. It also helps them to, to see an opportunity to, to know something new, you know, something that they've never known before. Even though it's a small state, um, it is pretty big, considering people don't drive more than 15 minutes. So, um, and just the fact that they can give out our information and then later on um, have somebody call me and say that, oh, I got your flyer and your phone number from the Hope Bus. You know, and that the fact that I can actually be able to help them.